All right, so we're going to keep looking through the Vivaldi Concerto in G minor, the first movement. Last time we got all the way through measure 26, so we're going to pick up um, with the pickup to measure 27. And we're going to try today to get all the way to measure 64. So that's a lot of ground to cover, but I know we can do it. So um, one thing you'll notice, if you take a look above the very first note of this piece, it says tutti, T-U-T-T-I. When you see that, that means if you were playing this with an orchestra, you would actually be playing the same thing as the first violin section. That's what they would be playing. Um, and then you'll see when you get to measure 27, or the pickup to measure 27, where we're about to start, it says solo over those notes. Um, so generally, and you'll see, it actually goes back and forth between 2D and solo, 2D and solo throughout this whole piece. Whenever you get to one of those solo sections, um, that's going to tend to be a lot harder. It's going to be, there's going to be a lot of technical stuff because that's where if you were playing with an orchestra, you would be showing off, right? You're not doing the same thing as the people next to you. Now it's just you um, showing off your technique and your skill. So generally those sections are the ones you're going to want to spend the most time on. So that's what we're going to start with today with the pickup to 27. Um, and just to be clear, you do have to play everything. It's just that the way that this was written when Vivaldi wrote it, the, the 2D sections are a little bit on the easier side compared to the solo sections. All right, and you can kind of see just by visually looking at this. So we're starting with the pickup to 27. Uh, starts out not too bad. We're in for, uh, first position, but remember because of those B flats, it really feels like we are in half position, B flats and E flats actually. So we're starting out. <laughs> So again, there, I know we talked about this last time, but there's one of those times where the F sharp is added as an accidental. First finger goes right under next to your second finger. So it's not a low one there. So again. Then on the A string. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad. Same with this next part, shouldn't be too bad at all. The pick up to measure 31. You'll notice that all of these notes have legato lines over them. So this part should be just so beautiful. It even says uh, expressive underneath. Um, so this next part is going to sound like this. Okay, then. You'll see in 35, first of all, there is a little bit of a bowing uh, difference. We're not putting all of the um, eighth notes in one, or sorry, all of the 16th notes in one bow. It's two to a bow, and then uh, down, up, down, up, down, up. That's a very common bowing you'll see quite a bit throughout this. Um, and it is okay to play open E. Those are E naturals through the whole measure. And uh, I know a lot of times we try to avoid open E. Um, most people, when they play this, will play open E. So 35, again, is... Now, in measure 37, uh, and it should looks like it's marked, um, although it looks like whoever marked it wrote fourth position, and that should say third position. Um, you're going to play the same pitches, the same notes, but now you're going to do it in third position. So four... Three, two, three. Four, three, two, three. And you have to be really careful because you can see that now the bowing is different. Now it's down, up, down, up, down, up, which is actually a much harder bowing than the first time. Um, the reason that they have you shift, there's a couple of reasons, but one of them is to give it a little bit of a different timbre and to help you play that softer. So when you play it in 35, it should be forte. When you play it in 37, it should be piano. So let me go, we'll keep going here from 37. Two, one, four. Three, two. Now this uh, E flat, you're still in third position. It's two fingers and it says TR or trill over. So you're going to go from the E a whole step up or from the E flat, a whole step up to your F natural. So again, uh, measure 39 will sound like this. Then measure 40, you can mark back to first position. Measure 40 sounds like this. 
Okay, and then we get into some crazy stuff that we'll talk about in a second. But I want to go from pick up to 27 and play through what we've looked at already. Okay, so we're going slow. That's okay. We're still learning. Um, so we're going to go one and two and ready. Here we go. spots in there you have to work out take some time to just kind of isolate one measure or two measures that you're having a hard time with now we're at measure 41 this is that really nasty bowing that we had in the last me uh, in measure 37 but it's actually a little harder this time because we have to cross strings these two measures when I learned this piece when I was younger were probably the two hardest measure what it's two of the hardest measures for me um, but now that I've taken time to go through them slowly I'm like oh they weren't actually that bad I think when I learned this I didn't Quite how I hadn't quite mastered how to isolate something and practice it, so um, that's why I had a hard time with it. Um, it wouldn't hurt to go through first without the bowing. So right now, let's play measures 41 um, and 42 without the bowing, just down, up, down, up, down, up, to make sure we have the notes down. So it'll be. Miss your E flat like I did. Do do that again. Okay. Now let's put the bowing in. So it'll be down, up, down, up, down, up. And same thing in the next measure. Sound like this. Spend some time working on that slowly. Eventually, it is going to have to go something like this. But it does not need to be that fast now. Okay, That's the, the trap I fell into. I tried to play it that fast from the beginning, and it was a flop the whole time. Learn it slowly, and then it will be a lot easier to do it um, faster. Okay. Um, measure, let's see here. It's 43. Now we have these triplets. Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, trill. That's coming up in 44. Okay. There's an accent at the beginning of each of these groups. It's actually two sets of triplets together. So it's going to sound like this. Now, this is a double stop and a trill. Remember I said there's going to be some crazy technical stuff going on here? Well, here's one of them. You're going to play, this is one of the harder double stops to play actually because you have to use the same finger for both notes. So you're going to play F natural and C natural with the same finger. It is tough to get that perfectly in tune. And then the trill only has to happen on one string. So on the A string, you're going to trill from C to D. So it'll sound like this with the double stop. So that one's tough to get under your fingers, but I know you can do it. And then same thing in 45. There's the same trill and double stop, except at the end you go. So you can see there's those grace notes at the end. B, C, B. Okay, so you see we now we've gotten to another 2D section. We're going to hit that in a minute, but right now let's play from the pickup to 26, uh, 27. Uh, all the way to where we just left off there, measure 47. Okay, so this is that for this whole solo section. So one and two and ready, here we go.
again, a lot to work on there, but if you take it slow, it'll all come together nicely, I'm sure. All right. Now, this next part, we're going to uh, do the next two and a half ish lines um, from the pickup to 48. This is another 2D section, so it shouldn't be technically as difficult, although there is a little bit of shifting in here. So we're going to go um, right from the pickup to 48. It's going to be the low 1F natural. <laughs> So go ahead and mark that from 48, 49, 50, 51. And measure 51 at the D where it says one finger. That's third position. So go ahead and mark that. Okay. Gonna stay back to first in 54. So that B natural in 54 is back to first position. And again, it's a B natural, so your first finger goes in its regular spot. And you don't stay in first long, unfortunately. Right in 55, the second note of 55 is back to third. So go ahead and mark that at 55. But then you go back to first in 56 on the BC. And then in 50, we're just going to get these all out of the way. And then in 57, you go back to third again. Okay. And we're going to hit the next part in a minute because it actually is different. Um, but so if I'm going to go, well, I guess I'll just go from pick up to 48 again so that you can see what the shifting will look like. Third. First. Third. First. Third. Now. This is measure, oh, the measures are so small, 55, 56, 57, 58. Measure 58. That first note, you were in third position, right? So that's four. You don't even need to mark that. You're going to go back to first for the B natural. And then you can see the next note is also marked with your first finger. That's because you're immediately going to go to second position. So mark second position. Okay. Um, so this is measure, what did I say it was? 58. You're going to go four, one, one. And then the next note is four, three. So by the time you get to measure 60, that's one finger, second position, so that C is one finger. And then um, at, the after, or at the second note of measure 61, you're back to first position. Second note of 62 is third position. So go ahead and mark that. Second note of, 30, of 62 is third position. You stay in third position um, for the rest of that section. And that's when we get to the next solo part, um, which is 65. So measure 65. Okay. So even though the 2D section doesn't have a lot of technical stuff, like the triplets and the trills and the double stops, there is a lot of shifting in this. So you really have to be comfortable with what position you're in. That second position part is, is tough, but it's not impossible. And it really is kind of like a scale, right? It's four, three, two, one. Um, so all the times you could have to play second position, this is probably one of the easier ones. Um, let me play from the pickup to uh, 48 to where we left off here at the end of 64. Okay, so one and two, and here we go. play that C to end it there, but we'll pick up with 35 next time.
Okay, so work through that stuff really slowly. Make sure your fingers are in the right position. Um, we'll pick up with the next solo part in the next video.